Hello guys, I'm Carlos Santos and I can have a card FF and welcome to another edition of F1 2023 gameplay. So, I'm doing Breaking Point, so it's kind of like a mini reality show that you would see in Netflix called Drive to Survive. So, I'm going to quickly go for chapter 7 for 10, so the tracks are in order, like this. Bahrain, Australia... I'm trying to think of the other two, but I... Emila and... Hmm, what's after Emila? I'll just go check real quick. Hold on. Catalonia. So, I'll repeat the four tracks that we'll be doing today in this 35 minute clip. So it's Bahrain, Australia, Emila, and Catalonia. So, I hope you all got it straight since if any of you play Breaking Point, then you'll know that I put the AI difficulty on easy so I can get the achievements quickly and know that yeah, it's just a really tough, I mean really tough, you know, kind of game mode. So, yeah, I haven't done an F120 gameplay in a while so bear with me if the number of views get low or subscribers from this con kind of content so, so after a second lap of, of Bahrain I'll stop commentating so you guys can get an overview of what this breaking point feature is like and now that I'm also going to do F1 Ma Manager 2023 also, so yeah, and those games are fine with me, but I I don't I've rarely watched any F1 races live, so yep, Max Verstappen, man, it's like he wins every race. I'm telling you, which is why I don't watch F1. I'm tired of people. Winning all the time, knowing like if he's compared to Jeff Gordon, as far as winning too much, <laughs> he'll be the most hated in any kind of motorsports discipline. And like in this breaking point, at least it's fair, you know. Like you're stuck mid pack trying to climb for the field, and even though easy AI difficulty is not going to gain like. Where I'm at, it's like, oh, you gotta be patient in traffic. And Max Verstappen doesn't have to be in traffic so much throughout the season. And hope oh, next season he goes to his ways of winning, but at the same time, all the race seems have to catch up, man. Even his teammate Sergio Perez is finishing second to him a lot. And I mean, it's just how F1 is these days. You gotta learn how to budget as a race team, and everything rolls like that, so. So, um, I'll start commentating here. If you guys wanna watch the rest of this video, it'll be around 35 to 40 minutes long, so. I'll make it happen, Carnival 5. Hope y'all have a great Thanksgiving, Christmas, and a happy new year. Peace. Up to speed now, let's get some heat into those tyres.
while. Plenty of surprises in the midfield. So where do we start, Ant? Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after... What a start to the season, Devon. You must be happy with that performance. Yeah, it just comes so naturally to me. I don't really think anything of it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't impressive. I mean, you seem impressed. I'm, I'm sure others do too, and rightfully so. I'm just saying that it was actually pretty easy for me today. Well, you've had your share of run-ins in the past with teammate Aiden Jackson. Ah, listen, Aiden is the greatest F1 driver of all time. You ask him, he'll tell you. What, you, you think I've got an attitude problem? Aiden has got stealth ego, let me tell you. You, you don't know it's there, and then it emerges. He's, uh, well, he's, he's a handful, uh, trust me. Well, Connor Sport surprised everyone by appointing... I think he's going to do a terrific job, you know? Uh, mainly because he's got me on his team, so uh, he can't go too far wrong. Now, I'm sure he's incredibly thankful to have me as a driver. Well, you're embarking on a new year, but what would a successful season look like for you in 2023? I'm making it my personal mission to make a success of Connor Sport. And by the end of the season, you're all going to be saying what a wonderful team we are and how great a season we've had. And if you're doing that, then I'll consider it a job well done. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, what is it? Now that's how a butler takes care of business. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Carrying the team, Devon, as well as the butler name. I couldn't be happier. Yeah, yeah, went well. Well? <laughs> I can't wait to hear what those clowns Ackerman and Connor have to say. Yeah. Hmm? You okay, Devon? What? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, uh, just adrenaline, Dad. I just, I really pushed it out there today, you know? I just need to simmer down a bit. Of course you do. Let's talk later. I'll be in meetings, but so call me whenever you like. I'm proud of you, son. Let's just make sure today's result isn't just a one-off. Eh? Yeah. All right, all right. Ciao. Here comes Butler, good pace here down the straight. Into the corner we go. That's a little too late and he nearly goes off the track on the exit. Ant, is that a lapse in concentration? I think just a little bit of desperate driving there, Crofty. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. Okay, Devon, we're gonna have to ease off from the brakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brakes don't feel right. Okay, we'll have a look at it, but you're gonna see a drop off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? We've asked you to take it easy on the last lap, but pushing has made the issue even worse. So we're just gonna have to live with it for now. What are you talking about? Listen, just do what you can, please, Devon. Come on.
top ten now. Keep it up. Okay, clear. Lap of the race so far. Try and close the gaps of the car ahead. It's currently two seconds up the road. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Look, this isn't the first time we've seen Devin Butler go. Red Bull put up an outside. Now, Devin, you didn't respond to a team order. Look, anything I say is going to be taken out of context. So I'd rather not fuel that kind of speculation. I'll debrief the team and we'll figure out how we can stop it happening again. That's, that's all there is to it. Devon, you finished the race with a compromise. Yeah, it was tough, tough out there. I mean, uh, I love this track. You know, I know I can do well here and it's frustrating to deal with anything that slows me down. You know, I didn't like it and the team didn't like it. Now, some have been saying that you do get preferential treatment because your father funds the team. What do you... That always strikes me as really odd. Like, as if <laughs> the only reason that I'm first on the track is because my dad funds the team. You know, how, how is that an explanation? It's ridiculous. So how do you expect Connor Sport to perform? Actually, I'm sorry to say the team's got a serious problem and its name is Aiden Jackson. 
and I'm afraid to say he is the slowest driver on the grid. So there's only so good a season you can have with uh, something like that going on. But uh, you know what? We're going to try our best. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, seriously. I I'm teasing. I'm teasing. But uh, come on, Aiden. Come on. What's going on, mate? Thank you so much for your time. Could you take a look at this, please? Yes, do you hear me? Andreo. Butler, what was that out there today? I will not have a return to last season. We are a team. He cannot be allowed to do just what he wants. Look, just calm down, I have it under control. Well, this is Devon we're talking about. There is no control. He nearly lost the car, Casper. But he didn't. You know what it gets like out there. I'm sure there's an explanation. Or an excuse. And we'll find out. I'll be raising it at the debrief, okay? So I'll report back to you. Uh, okay, um... Hang on. Look, I've got to go. I've got David off on the other line. <laughs> of course you have. Enjoy. Oh, it's a, well, it's a big deal when one of your drivers decides to do their own thing. So I called him out on it at the next team meeting. And what was Devon's react? Yeah. He wanted to see me. Ah, there he is. Thank <laughs> you. 
Morgan. Two fifty. Devon Butler now. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Devon Butler spins. He's out. Oh, he just misjudges it and clips the curb. What a mess. Devon Butler, with that move, is out of the race. He won't want to see that too many times. But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. Andreo, have you spoken to her yet? Yes, we've spoken. And what did you say? She'll be around this weekend. She agreed to come and see me. You mean you haven't asked her yet? Of course not. It's a delicate situation. I'm sure she has an idea, but... Look, it's not just something you casually ask over the phone, is it? Why not? Come on. This is potentially life-changing for her. And the whole family situation needs to be handled with a little, you know, care and respect. Well, well, you're the one that knows her. Just make sure she says yes and fast. I'm finding it difficult to keep fielding questions about the future of Connorsport. Yeah, I read part of that interview. Could almost feel you squirm. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, I'll call you as soon as I know. Twenty seven point two seconds. Right, Noah's coming in for his stop now.
Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Well done. So it's Aidan Jackson propping up Connorsport. Welcome then to the po- Well, Connorsport are in a bit of an odd situation right now. So just tell me, what is it like? Yeah, uh, not so long ago, my teammate was Devon and um, we had a plan sorted out for the rest of the season. Uh, now it's Noah and uh, for the last couple of races, uh, suddenly nobody's quite sure what the situation is. I've never had to drive in this, this, this situation before, so it's all pretty strange, but you do what you can. Most importantly, how is Devon? And how are you finding it without your teammate? Uh, um, yeah, I know as much as everybody else, so, you know, I saw what happened. I'm obviously very worried for him, and as is everybody else, and, you know, I know he's not fit to drive for us right now. It's as far as I know, he's working super hard to return to the sport, and, um, yeah, I wish him well. Well, there's a lot of talk about what happens if Devon does... To be honest, I think we can get by without him. I'm going to be giving it everything I've got this season. I reserve Noah. He, he's finally got a chance to get some races under his belt. We can handle it. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. Hey, Casper, you wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. Shoot. Uh, nothing major, really. Um, to be honest, I just wanted to thank you. Oh. What for? I'm, you know, just doing my job. No, it's more than that. Uh, well, I know why you stayed on the team. And, uh, well, I won't lie to you, it's not been easy. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so... Give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button.
to subscribe for more content and if you saw the recent video interesting share that comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome so I make a happy Corona night 5 you'll have a great day and peace out